refraction in this video i will be discussing the basic concepts about refraction of light now we can see the introduction in this figure a stick is dipped in a beaker filled with water the stick appears displaced at the interface between the air and water why does this occur this occurs due to a property of light known as refraction for refraction of light to occur it has to travel between mediums of different density as it is shown here air is having lesser density while water is more denser than air now why does this refraction happens refraction happens due to the change in velocity of light in different mediums in case of air light is much more faster when compared to the speed of light in water now let's see the definition of refraction the bending of ray of light when it passes from one medium to another is called refraction of light basically refraction is a property considering the propagation of light through various mediums now we can see an example of refraction that is refraction through a glass slab in this case at first first phase when it comes in contact with the first phase and first interface is between air and glass air is the rarer medium while glass is the denser medium hence the ray of light bends towards the normal here i1 is the angle of incidence r1 is the ref refraction angle now after that when it reaches the interface cd in this case the light ray moves from the medium glass to air in this case glass is denser while air is rarer hence the light ray bends away from the normal here i2 is the incident angle while r2 is the refracted angle since the angles of refractions are compensated the end ray is parallel to the incident ray it is only slightly shifted to the side which is given by o dash o dash l that is a by which the incident ray is shifted after passing through the glass slab now laws of refraction these laws of refraction were found out after doing many experiments after doing many experiments certain general principles were arrived at the first law of refraction states that the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal to the interface of two transparent medium at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane now the second statement states that the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant for light of a given color and for a given pair of media this law is also known as snell's law of refraction it can be shown like this that is sin i by sin r is equal to constant where i is the angle of incidence while r is the angle of refraction now refractive index refractive index is a gives the extent of change in direction of light in a given pair of media 
it is based on refractive index we can say how much refraction can occur in a media the refractive index is a relative value of speed of light in given pair of media it is actually a ratio between speed of light in two mediums that is let the speed of light in medium 1 is v1 and in medium 2 is v2 therefore refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 n21 is equal to speed of light in medium 1 by speed of light in medium 2 thus we can see that refractive index is a dimensional quantity and is a ratio of speed of light in both mediums hence this is the end of this video in this video i have discussed some important concepts about refraction the laws of refraction and the concept of refractive index of a material if you have got any doubt in the topics discussed in this video Please comment in the section below this video. Thank you.